The vaginal hysterectomy is the gold standard for hysterectomies because it has easier recovery for patients. It's the most minimally invasive. So right now, what we're finding is less than 10% of hysterectomies are performed vaginally. And it's really important that we get back to doing more vaginal surgery. VENO stands for Vaginal Natural Orifice Transluminal Endoscopic Surgery. So it's a mouthful, but what the goal is, is just the notes part of it means we're gonna go through a natural orifice. That natural orifice is in the vagina, and that's where V-notes comes from. We make a little teeny incision underneath the cervix, and we go in with the cameras that they can use in laparoscopic cases, and we can actually do what we need to do to get the uterus out, maybe to take an ovary out, take an ovarian tumor, or, or take um, do ovarian cysts. We're done in minutes, and there's no incisions in the abdomen. So it's really an exciting thing that's starting to happen in medicine with taking those instruments that people are comfortable with and actually starting to put them through the vagina. So as far as recovery from a vaginal hysterectomy, oftentimes people go home the same day. I give people the option to spend the night if they feel like they want to, but oftentimes people want to go home and spend the night in their own bed. Most people are back up and walking around, you know, doing the things that they do by within a couple of days. You have to have pelvic rest for a little while. So that means nothing in the vagina. For, I usually tell people four to six weeks. Some people go a little bit longer, but if there's just a little teeny incision that's about this big in the vagina um, for the V-notes, that heals very quickly. So pelvic rest for a month for those. I think that in the right hands, the risks of having a vaginal hysterectomy um, are very low, but just like with anything else, you really need to interview your surgeon and ask, you know, how many of these do you do? You know, what complications can I expect from this? Do you think that I have additional risks that maybe other people might have? You know, is this the best type of hysterectomy for me or should I look at other options that maybe you don't perform? So in my hands, if you come into my office, there are specific things that I'm gonna do to see if you qualify for a vaginal hysterectomy. Things that other people may not do because I've been doing this for a really long time. Sometimes there are patients that come in that just aren't a great candidate for a vaginal hysterectomy. And at Southern New Hampshire Health, we have experts in robot hysterectomy, we have experts in laparoscopic minimally invasive hysterectomies and vaginal surgery and open. We're a great team and we know the the um, skills of each other and oftentimes we'll call in our colleague to help on the more challenging cases. So it's a really a great group to work with because we have so many different people coming from so many different backgrounds with expertise.